Since the emergence of Egyptian civilization nearly 6,000 years ago, the world has been captivated by its mystery. With its immense temples and rich history of philosophy, mathematics, literature, art and technology, ancient Egyptian culture represents an incredibly complex mystery that is still waiting to be unraveled. While famous for being a center of culture and civilization, Egypt was also renowned for its mystic rites and temples of initiation. All of the great religious and philosophical thinkers of the ancient Mediterranean world traveled to Egypt at some point to experience the rites and gain the knowledge of the mystery schools that had flourished there for thousands of years. Freemasonry itself traces back its roots to the dawn of the Egyptian mysteries, with many parallels to Masonic ritual being found in ancient Egyptian works, such as the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Freemasonry is the heir to all of the world's mystic traditions, but the initiatory rites of Egypt mark the beginning of the ancient system that would eventually be manifested as Freemasonry. Of all of Egypt's great megalithic sites that were used for initiatory purposes, one that stands above all others is the temple complex of Karnak, whose grand columns and sweeping hallways still inspire awe in those who visit it today. For Freemason and Theosophist de Lubitsch, Karnak in particular held a special significance in the ritual history of Egypt. R. A. Schwaller de Lubitsch was a French alchemist, occultist, and student of sacred geometry who lived in Egypt for 12 years studying the ruins of Karnak. As a practitioner of pharmaceutical chemistry, de Lubitsch quickly recognized that the blueprint of Karnak's temple complex mirrored the composition of the human body, with different temples corresponding to different areas of the body. Mystical hieroglyphic inscriptions cover almost every inch of the Karnak temples and they undoubtedly served as centers of instruction in the mysteries. Karnak also doubled as an incredibly complex astronomical observatory capable of mapping and recording the axial progression of the sun, also known as the Great Year or Precession of the Equinoxes. De Lubitsch identified that this knowledge of the grand movements of the stars would necessitate an extremely ancient origin of Egyptian society, predating by many thousands of years the conventional origin ascribed to the Egyptians. Though ridiculed in his day, more evidence has come to light in recent years to suggest that De Lubitsch may indeed have discovered an ancient truth.